Hey, 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 Scorpio. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekend reading. This is for Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This is for July 17th to the 19th. So this won't resonate with everybody. Uh, if you're interested in a personal reading, information to my Etsy shop can be found in the description box below. I'm going to get a channeled message here just for you in one moment. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and also comment. Let me know if this resonates with you, Scorpio. Hmm. Okay. We have the Four of Pentacles, Scorpio. The Nine of Cups. The Nine of Swords. The Fool card. And the Page of Pentacles. So, let's see what Spirit has for you today. They're saying send light into the ethers. Offer love to those around you. And say what's in your heart, Scorpio. Speak from the heart. Communicate from the heart, not the head. Ah, they're saying by doing this, this is sending light into the ethers because that is love. Love is light, right? Okay. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. There may be an opportunity that comes your way via a message. Could be in love, could be in business, right? There is a wish that you hold, a desire, and you have the opportunity to make this desire manifest and just leap into it right take that chance take that jump but you're holding back you're too much in your head about it and this is why spirit's telling you to speak from the heart because you have to get more into the heart space and this is where your desire comes from as well your desire is coming from the heart and this again could be either love or business so stop overthinking. Let's clarify. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. What is this desire that Scorpio wants? The Queen of Wands. Ooh, you want it bad. There is something you're very passionate about. And again, this could go either way. This could be love some something that you're very or somebody that you're very passionate about very sexually attracted to is the queen of wands is the mistress of the deck and i feel like this is you right here hmm you could also be desiring a queen of wands it's like you match their energy Usually when I get to, like, the Queen of Wands, right? Sometimes I get cards and I feel your energy in their energy. Usually that's in a twin flame dynamic. Um, we'll see. But I feel that you could be desiring this person as well as sort of matching their energy in that the sexual attraction is high. The manifestation power is very high. Okay, Queen of Wands gets what she wants, goes after what she wants, is very confident in her desires. And Wands is action, right? So you do go after it. But for some reason, you're holding back on this and it's, and it's blocking. 
tell me why is Scorpio holding back on making this manifest here? Why is Scorpio holding back? Ace of Swords. You're waiting for some clarity and truth. Some sort of clarity and truth. It could it could be that you you want this surety behind this relationship and until you're clear and until you there's my phone again getting weird. Uh, all right, why are you doing it? Randomly, my phone will just like I was playing music, right? Stop and then start record recording what I'm saying. It's weird. And I'll see it typed. Very strange. Okay. So you're waiting for some sort of clarity and truth. Either from yourself or from this person. Can I get another card on this, please? Clarity and truth surrounding what? Oh, wait a minute. I got like two cards here flipped. Hmm. Okay. The Emperor could be an Aries or Taurus. And Seven of Pentacles is... Okay. Investment of energy, time, money. You're wanting to decide... I feel it's from this person. Is this what they truly want? Okay, you want them to decide because the emperor knows what he or she wants, right? And goes after it as well, right? So you're waiting for this clarity. Does this person want to invest this time and energy in you? Are they going to go forward like the emperor does and just drive toward this union? Okay, do they want it as bad as you do? That's what I'm feeling. So, why the anxiousness? Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Energy. Okay. All right. Again, Scorpio, you can't get away from this. I don't know whose energy I'm picking up on, but fuck it A. Two of Pentacles again. You may be choosing between two people, or this energy could be reversed, but it's always here. Ay, ay, ay. This could be you're trying to balance love and money, love and um, business, right? Because the Queen of Pentacles is all about um, growing whatever it is that she's focused on, right? And it's usually a business it's usually um, a project right and she appreciates what she's doing so she pours her heart into it temperance this is clarifying again and five of pentacles yeah you you know you gotta leave if this is between two people, you know you got to leave somebody out in the cold, and that's why you're so anxious, okay? There's healing, whoever this is that you're leaving out in the cold, okay? There would be healing that needs to happen there, right? And an embracing of change with this new individual. So you don't know what the fuck to do. You're confused. You're anxious. And that's why Spirit said speak from the heart. You need to communicate with this person and speak from the heart. The fool energy is clarified by the page of swords. It's like you're spying on this individual, but you're not speaking. Page of wands and the empress. This is good news. The page of wands is good news, right? The empress, Taurus, Libra energy could be good news. Now you've got the emperor and empress. Okay, you've got a pair on the board here. So you could be deciding to message this person or hearing from this person. Good news. I think this has to do with your this clarity that will be coming with this conversation. But I feel like balance needs to be had and a choice needs to be made. So what is your advice for Scorpio? What is your advice for Scorpio? 
What is your advice for Scorpio? <laughs> and you get your own card. Death. Transformation. Look beneath your surface, Scorpio. Okay? Instead of trying to get clarity from anything on the outside of you, seek to find this clarity within you. That's where true transformation occurs, right? And once this transformation occurs within, you will see evidence of this on the outside. You won't see it right away, but you will see it. Balance and high priestess. So I feel like you may be hiding something Okay, and this also is talking about listening to your intuition. This could be a twin with the high priestess here. That is possible, but what I feel like is you're, you're hiding what you're feeling here, and you have to communicate. You, you have to communicate here. Gemini, Pisces, energy, and then we have Cancer, energy. So once you find this balance, right, of body, mind, and spirits, and you speak your truth, and you speak from the heart, then you'll be able to move forward in confidence and in balance and in connection with spirits. Hierophant at the bottom of the deck, Taurus energy, that has to do with connection with spirit and commitment. Yeah, stop this struggle. You're, you're, it, it's this overthinking here, right? With this nine of swords and five of wands, Keep saying one more card one more card yep this could be a twin with the four of wands here okay twin flame energy but this has to do with foundation again i feel that's one of the things that you're working on with the queen of pentacles here and you just want peace you you just want to get out of this energy you want to get out of this energy the nine of swords you want to get out of the five of wands energy okay and you just want to move on to peace Queen of Cups, open your hearts and speak from your hearts. Okay? All right, Scorpio, I hope this helps. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions, the information can be found in the description box below to my Etsy shop. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates with you. Have yourself a great weekend, Scorpio, and I'll talk to you next time. Namaste.